Alright. Okay, tell us what you're doing, Amanda. I'm about to core beam that runs in the basement and I'm going to core right here where there's the endwood for the last growing year of the tree. So you can see where there's, it hasn't been cut by the nax. It's just sort of the end of the wood. And I'm going to go ahead and core it and hopefully see how old it is. Okay. So the squeaking noise is common <laughs> in coring trees. Sounds like, sounds like a moose. <laughs> sometimes you can really you get really loud out in the forest sometimes and it's like I wonder if anybody's just out there hearing this. It's if a tree odd. falls in the woods, does anyone hear it, eh? Exactly. So you think that this is the one of the oldest beams in supporting the house? Um, potentially. Um, this one and the one that Ben just cored are the two. I mean, like he said before, they're big doesn't mean it's old. Okay. But it, they are the biggest ones, and they're on the foundation. So it's potential that, like, even though there is the quarry rocks and the handmade bricks and the bricks, they still might have just lifted the foundation and kept the same strong beams. I don't Possibly. Know. I wonder how they would have done that in the 1800s, lifting a house. That would have been a big job. Painful. <laughs> so now you're... Uh, now I'm putting the spoon, the little scoop here, into the bore, and it's going to extract the core out of it. So I give it a half turn back so I can pull it out, it's loosened it up, and I'm going to get a straw. And just sort of keep an eye on it to make sure that nothing falls out unexpectedly. There's your first piece there. Mm -hmm. These beams look the same. They're real nice for um, Yeah, both mine from the big one has been have been nice. I took one from one of these side ones, which was, I think, spruce maybe. And it sort of fell apart at each ring. Yeah. But um, they were all there. That piece is staying together, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, this one's chant nice. So this one's also cedar, similar to the other one. It smells very nice and oh yummy. My. Sort of like a nice winter fire. But, and so... Hard to believe that all these years later it still smells of cedar. Yeah, I mean, you took a sniff of the yeah, other one, right? Yeah, It smells pretty good. After 200 years, they, they tend to... All start to smell the same, they just smell woody, musty type of thing. But up to two hundred years they tend to they tend to keep keep their uh, original smell. So just taping it shut to keep it in there and when I take out the bore I'm just gonna stick it in the hole just so I know where it came from. Oh I so see. Afterwards we'll come around and we'll number each of the cores and then write notes, maybe like from large cross beam, draw it onto a map, cedar is what we predict, and then be able to say if it's rotten or not. This one's nice and solid, so take notes on what we find. So that's good that it's not rotten. Yeah, well, especially for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes in wet basements, and this one definitely has some moisture down here, is, yes. um, they um, tend to rot the beams. The, the cedar is also a pretty good wood to keep that type of thing at bay. So. It's my understanding that the water issue is recent. Hmm. So that hasn't. All, this is the result of a, of a hole in. I think it's right there. The one over. Is yeah. The cave-in looking. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. They tried to fix it here this year. It's been anyway. Whatever it was. So just put that in there and see. We have a couple others. So. Oh my! Yes, you've done three over here already. Yep. Wow. One. One. So these two are from the same beam. This big one, massive two. one. And this one's from a smaller cross beam. Three. Yeah. There. Probably a, a spruce. Oh my. Wow. Thank you. Interesting.